Greetings, Texas Conference family. My wife, Alessandra, and our daughter, Isabella, and I are thankful for the opportunity and responsibility that the Executive Committee has extended to us to serve the Texas Conference as your next president. Through prayer, God's guiding hand, we believe that the Lord has led us to serve Him in this new capacity. Thank you. Thank you for your faithful prayers and your kind messages. We as a family are filled with joy and expectation for the plans the Lord has for us together. We have a great team of office staff, pastors, teachers, and all of our 64,000 members across our field. We have a bright future ahead of us because we serve a mighty God who is able to, to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine. I love this verse from Mrs. White. She says this in Christian Service, page 75, that the secret, the word, the secret of our success in the work of God will be found in the harmonious working of our people. There must be concentrated action, she says. Every member of the body of Christ must act his part in the cause of God according to the ability that God has given him or her. We must press together against obstructions and difficulties, shoulder to shoulder, heart to heart. And then she adds, if Christians were to act in concert, moving forward as one, under the direction of one power for the accomplishment of one purpose, they would move the world. This coming Sunday, May 16, we have scheduled our biennial constituency session. I invite you to enter into a season of prayer so God's leading and the Holy Spirit will be present with us and that the technology and the weather and our experience together will be a blessing for all of us. People who wait in the Bible have received a promise that He is at work in them like a seed that has started to grow. It may be a specific promise, such as you be given the Holy Spirit, or it may be more general, I, I am with you always to the end of the age. Waiting on God, therefore, is nurtured by promises that help us to stay where we are until God clearly tells us to move into a new situation. However, it is important to note that the people who wait in the Bible often wait together. The Christian community is designed by God as a place of support, celebration, and affirmation of what is even as we wait for God to reveal to us of what will be. As a family of faith, we come together around the promise that God will bless us as a church. We don't know that what the future will look like, but together we wait patiently and prayerfully for God to show us. And while we wait, we continue doing the ministry He has blessed us with today. God bless you.